What's happened everybody? This is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. In this project, we're taking a look at how to install and use Font Awesome in React. In this project I have here, I've got a Gatsby project. Hello world, if we just type a few X points, we should get, maybe, there we go. We have it all working just fine. What I wanna do is, let's bring back just one, is I wanna bring in the Font Awesome library of icons in React. Now by default, if I look at this design, it's not that easy to find the React part of it. So what I do is I just go to Google because all things are found in Google. And if I just search for React Font Awesome, I find React Font Awesome. Now in here, I'm gonna use the docs menu of 5.15. If I scroll down the page, what I'm looking for to get started by default are these three pieces. If I copy these code snippets, I'm gonna stop my development server drop those in. Now as this installs, we almost installed everything, but we didn't because I'm not quite sure why they didn't do this up at the top, but we had to go a little search for this. If we scroll down the page and scroll down the page, scroll down the page, what I'm looking for is the Fort Awesome or the Font Awesome free brands SVG icons. They're there, they're just not included at the very top for some weird strange reason. Don't ask me, I'm not the person that built this whole entire site. It works great overall, but there is that little bit of a glitch that I just can't understand why. So what I'm gonna do is I can say npm i dash dash save, and then bring in these free brand SVG icons if I wanna use them down the road. Again, you don't have to, this is up to you and what you wanna do with React Font Awesome. Perfect, they've installed, no error messages, Let's head back and start my development server using Gatsby. Gatsby's all set to go, so let me come back to my local host, refresh it, and let's make sure this is a live refresh. If I save, there it goes. Now we have a live refresh. So the first thing I have to do with React Font Awesome is bring in the React Font Awesome component. So at the very top, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say import curly brackets, and we're gonna keep this empty for one more second and come back to it. I'm gonna say from, what I'm looking for is the at Fort Awesome, for some reason I wouldn't say it's not, but it goes from N to R. I'm looking for the React Font Awesome, so I'm gonna say at Fort Awesome, awesome. And I'm looking for the React Font Awesome. So there we go, drop this in. And now once I drop this part in, what happens is when I type inside of these curly brackets, I'm looking for the font awesome icon. Awesome, that's the first part. The second part what I wanna do is I need to bring in some sort of icon for this to work. Now here's kinda of how that kind of plays out from HTML to React. Let's say I'm looking for a left arrow. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for a left arrow and in here, I'm not looking for the pro icons. I'm just looking for a arrow left. So I'm looking for the left arrow. So in here, if we look at it, it's arrow left. So what I can do is, is that I'm gonna say import, import, <laughs> typing is difficult. And then I'm gonna say curly brackets, open, close right here. I'll type in the word from, from, and then I'll add the actual single quotes. I'm looking for in this case is the free solid SVG icons. Perfect. And now that we have arrow left, if I just type in arrow left, it doesn't always come up. In this case, it might've caught it. So kudos to this, I've never tried that before, but I'm looking for FA and then arrow left. So they've wrote it in camel case. So if we start from the very beginning, it goes font awesome and then the word arrow. So we have arrow and then we have capital L for left. Awesome, we've got arrow left right here. And just for fun, let's bring in the arrow right. We have FA arrow right, perfect. So we have FA arrow left and FA arrow right. Cool, now let's add this inside of our design. So if we save it, yep, it's gonna tell me that I haven't used anything, that is totally fine. Come back to my local host. Let's add a paragraph tag just for some spacing here. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply say the following. I'm going to say less than sign and I'm going to bring in the React or the Font Awesome icon. So in here, I'll use the Font Awesome icon and then I have to identify which icon I want to use. So I'll say icon equals curly brackets, in this case, FA arrow left. From here, I'm going to close it and save it. And like magic, I've brought the arrow left in. Let's take a look and bring in the arrow right. So if we then duplicate this, I will say font awesome icon, icon equals FA arrow, oops, in this case, right. Self close it. And now we have the arrow right. Now keep in mind these change based upon their parent attributes. So in this case, I have the paragraph tag. If I change the paragraph tag to an H2, notice how much bigger the icons get. Now, what you can also do is increase or decrease the size. So if we come back to React, they give me a whole list of size options. I'm gonna show them all and then I'm gonna use them. There's a lot of stuff here. Here we go, sizing going on. So the size we have equals one of the different sizes. If we wanna see all of the sizes, we can click on the size part and it takes us back to XS, SM, LG, 2X, 3, 5, 7, and 10X. We can use that with the same words, but we're gonna apply them in terms of not typing FAXS, but just size. Let's show and not just tell. So what I'm gonna do, whoops, I'll say in this case, we'll keep it the same for right here. Size equals, and we can type in XS for example. And just, I'm gonna keep this open on the other page. So now when I save this XS, notice that that little piece gets smaller. Now, if we look at the size icons, we go from XS to 10X. Oh boy, here we go. Let's drop this in for size comparison. Literally, we're gonna bring in the 10X. Oh, this could get dangerous. Oh my, that is one massively sized design. Now again, keep in mind that the XS and the 10X are based on the relative sizes of the H2. So if I change this H2 back to a paragraph tag, it does change the overall size relatively to its parent. So again, if I don't have, or if I do have a size, it's gonna make it smaller relative to the parent or larger relative to the parent.